All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So, uh, we're doing another D6 run. In fact, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of D6 runs for a while, up until I finally feel the need to go unlock the Lost and... Uh... Fuck yes. Okay, so we got the Dead Onion right off the bat. I mean, honestly, the thing is, the Dead Onion itself is not actually that great of an item. It's just really useful very quickly into the game. Uh, essentially, it is pure strike through. Absolute strike through. Uh, meaning, strikes through enemies, strikes through objects, strikes through everything. So if we can get ourselves some level of flight, a little bit more range, and some pretty high tier up, then we're just going to be able to wreck, wreck everything. Man, I hate those things. They always just, they always just change, you know, how, how they're going to, how they're going to move. It always surprises me. These guys, these guys are predictable, except for when you take their head off and then they immediately shoot you. Nothing is predictable. Oh, Jesus, blue fan, uh, blue famine right off the bat. Oh, either way, it's not that big of a deal. Blue famine is not terribly dangerous. I don't even remember if he shoots at me. Oh yeah, he does. It's just not much. All right, well, this is manageable. You leave me alone. And since all of our tiers have strike through, I believe they have zero knockback. Could be wrong about that one. But I think it's harder for us to accidentally, you know, send him flying straight into our face. Which is never really appreciable when it happens. Also, I saw Tinted Rock a little bit back. So, assuming that we make it out of this fight alive, which I honestly can't believe I'm going to take more than maybe one point of damage. Then we're all good. We can get the Spirit Heart and hopefully we get something like the meat here. Oh, oh. Okay, right He's pretty fast about that bit, and he does leave blood on the ground, which I'm not 100% certain uh, is, like, I don't know if it's dangerous to me or not. The one problem is we've got incredibly short range, a la Dead Onion, which is actually kind of a serious problem. Alright, well, whatever. Oh, hello. Okay, so first and foremost, we could get the, the Ball of Band-Aids if we really wanted to, but instead we get the Coat Hanger, which is Tears Up. No range, but you know what? Now we're actually shooting at a fairly reasonable rate, which is perfect. Because now let's go back and get that... Oh, shoot, I... Damn it. I should have waited on picking up that Tinted Rock. I completely forgot there was a curse room that we could go into. Oh, well. I mean, we already have pretty good stuff. So, it's not like it's that huge of a setback. It's just kind of poor tactical decisions. Either way, let's pick up the Red Heart and keep going. This is not like we have to worry about... I don't know. Freaking... Yeah, we don't have to worry about a whole lot. I guess it would have been maybe nice to go after the uh, boss trap room. That's not high on my list. Now, what do we need? Range and damage. Range and damage. If I can get both of those, uh, isn't that synth oil? I think it's synth oil. If I could get that, that would be amazing. Actually, synth oil might be uh, damage and shot speed, come to think of it. Either way, no big deal. And we've got so many tiers. It's largely not a big deal. They actually... I kind of like how it's slow they move. Okay, so the... Onk is kind of tempting, kind of not. The thing is, the way the Onk works is, if I die, I respawn as the Blue Baby. So, it's an alternate way of, you know, having extra lives. But it's one of those where, if I'm going to die once, chances are... Something like the Onk is not going to be super useful. If it was the Relic then we'd be in a great position, because that just gives me a uh, Spirit Heart every six rooms. I actually haven't seen the Relic yet. I wonder if it's, um... I wonder if I have to unlock it somehow, or if it was actually a Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb only type deal. I have no idea. No. Either way, we're doing we're doing pretty well. <laughs> Honestly, just dead, dead Onion is just such a nice starting item. That I'm, I'm feeling pretty positive about stuff. I just have to make sure I don't take any really stupid damage along the way. Also, apparently we have Curse of the Unknown. I was not even paying attention to that. Either way. Uh, okay. So, first things first, this room. Try and take out that pip in the middle. There we go. Because everybody else can kind of fall like dominoes thereafter. But something that actually shoots at me? That, that's the scary part. Should be fine, though. And I don't like these guys. Actually, luckily, I can I can hide behind things. The, the problem is I'm going to have to be in melee range if I'm going to want to be able to fight them. Because the one serious drawback to Dead Onion is 
your range goes way down. And I guess what I can do is hang out around that center. I'm just trying to take out the spiders because the spiders will actually come to me, whereas the like weird pimple dudes. Oh man. There's nothing I hate more than having to sneeze in the middle of Isaac. Because you know I can't I can't just pause, I can't just do whatever, and it's not one of those I want to get on camera. Uh, so instead I just kinda have to suffer. But this is pretty pretty rough as far as things are concerned, because I am too slow to dodge shots completely. And these guys are well not behaving either. Oh, perfect placement. Thank you very much. Now what these chests never really give me anything particularly worthwhile. And we've got... Okay, so we've got the item room, we've got a boss room, and we've got one and a half spirit hearts left, which means... Hopefully... Okay, good. It's just pin. Oh, wait. So... Oh, wait, no. Okay, we're good. The thing is... I, I was a little bit worried we'd be fighting somebody, like, particularly hard. Because as much as I would like to, uh... Uh, well, as much as I like a challenging boss, god damn it! <laughs> I don't know. I I took damage against Pin. How unusual is that? Jesus juice. Damage range up. That's pretty perfect for what we need. All we need at this point is something like the speedball, and I think we're good. Krampus, really? Well, I mean, we get to deal with the devil. Not what I was hoping for. And if it's the lump of coal, it's going to be good. I am taking way too much damage here. Uh, it, it, having to be like super close to Krampus to be able to even hit him is frustrating, but if we can get the lump of coal, that'll be good. They'll make our crazy tears do even more damage. Or if it's Krampus's head, I'll re-roll it, and I believe that pulls from the Devil Room. Okay, there we go. So we're out of Spirit Hearts, which is unfortunate, but... Could be worse. We we do a lot of damage, so that that bit is nice. Ugh. I'm just I'm just hoping that I don't know. Hoping that it works out for me. Okay, so we get we got dead onion. We have a reroll, so we can actually go back to that item room. I I if it was Krampus head Krampus's head, I was gonna reroll that because that uh, rerolling a devil room item, to, like getting a free devil room item is super useful. Like, the Onk would be nice, but as far as I can remember, the Onk, all it does is... Yeah, uh, when we, when we die, we respawn with three soul hearts. Dead bird. Well, not a whole lot of other options there. It's not much better than the Onk. In fact, one might even argue that it's worse. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna sack one. Oh, God. Alright. I'm gonna gamble a little bit here. This could this could end up poorly. This could end up alright. Damn it. Okay, what I was hoping would be that we would find Oh hey. I mean it kinda worked out. Not the way I was intending. I was really hoping I could get my hands on a battery here. But there are no batteries left. Cause what would be really cool is if I could re-roll Guppy's Paw and get myself... What's that? Oh, it's just a half heart. Alright, uh, re-roll Guppy's Paw, get another Guppy item, because there's a very, very limited pool of items you can even get from the red... Not the red chest. Well, yeah, from red chest. So it would pretty much be an instantly guaranteed another gu Guppy item. Or maybe a Devil Room item. Or just a random item. I have no idea. Um... But at this point, it's semi-tantamount that we actually get ourselves into these curse rooms. Unfortunately, well, as far as, like, this one is concerned, it's going to have to be after I've cleared the floor, just because we are sitting on, you know, three and a half spirit hearts right now. Oh, shit. It's also pretty important that I hide in corners and don't get hit, because, uh, very, very slow shot speed is actually a problem here. Oh, well. I mean, we're still giving us, like, crazy damage. What is what is our damage at? It says two, but I believe it's more than that. Could be wrong. Because I've gotten at least one damage up this entire, uh, this entire time, and I don't know. I just like Dead Onion. It's funny. 
Now, if we could get like squeezy or just any any level of tears up, I would be happy. Like, I'm still happy, but still. Also, got to put out the fire with my dead onion tears. The other nice thing is, uh, since the shot speed is slow, so slow, despite the fact that I have some complaints about it, it does mean I can do the whole like roving shot mass thing, which is convenient. Just not, I don't know, not perfect. Okay, y'all leave me alone. Y'all leave me alone. Hey, there's a battery, and I can bomb my way to it. So if we need another reroll, then there, there we go. We gotta waste our key on this. We get the halo. That's pretty much perfect. No need to reroll that one. And that's okay because I don't, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the rerolls for it anyway. You die, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna bomb out these mushrooms, considering there's already a bomb there, and we get luck up and speed down. Shit. Eh, actually, that's kind of zero sum considering we just got the halo, so that might not actually be that big of a detraction. Let's just hang out back because I don't want to get hit by those. I believe they do a lot of extra damage. We can get into the shop now, for better or worse, and we're fighting Peep. I really don't like fighting Peep. Ugh. Especially with those rocks in the corners. That's that's, that's actually going to give me some serious problems here, because we don't do a whole lot of damage. And it's going to corner us, and I don't like getting cornered. Like, like so. Oh, actually, that is a blessing in disguise, sort of. There we go. The one problem is him jumping actually resets Dead Bird, and I can't get Dead Bird to reacquire on him. Come on! <sighs> well, we've lost a Spirit Heart to him. Could be worse, but could be better. Oh. Okay, so we get meat, which is great. And then... We get... Two Eternal Hearts from a deal with the Angel. Dang it! I don't- I don't want that. I want Flight. I want- Honestly, what I want most is Lord of the Pit. Of all things. Lord of the Pit and Speedball. As weird as that is. Or, I guess if I get- end up getting Guppy, that'll- that'll be equally useful. Well, let's get our way in here, and... Wow. You know, we might actually end up getting Guppy here. Uh, hmm, well, we're guppy, we're really low health, but we're guppy. I suddenly feel some amount of regret for not checking these rooms first, but, oh well, could, I mean, it's not, not the end of the world, honestly. <laughs> guppy this early is pretty fantastic, especially because... I don't know. It should it should be obvious why this is such a great thing. What is, what are we on? Just like the second level? Jeez. This is pretty great. And there's the money we need. And reroll if we need it. Okay, so I'm going to the shop. I am going shopping. Uh might go in the gold uh pop the golden chest. Oh shoot. Oh man. Alright. That's pitiful. Alright. So first and foremost, let's uh, let's go find the secret room if I can. I've got three bombs left, and I don't I don't know where the secret room is going to be. It, it could actually be on either side of this, which is not good. My bet is it's actually up here, considering there's a mushroom blocking this way. Yep, got it. Hole in one. What do we get? Pair of keys. That's okay. It's not great. But it's not bad. Right, Guppy's tail and nine lives can't be re-rolled. It's just Guppy's head. That said, I'm still feeling good about stuff. I just need more money. What's this? The world. Damn it. I need money. Ah, uh, well, back to just being fragmently wasteful. I'm never going to max this thing out. Now here's, here's the real question. Do we want PhD for better pills or options? The answer is always options. Uh, love, love PhD. They ain't gonna do shit for me right now. All right, let's uh, let's take our ill-gotten gains and get out of here. So we're very weak, health-wise, but we're very strong apart from that, and that's that's a good thing. So that means, well, as long as I don't take a bunch of damage, we're we got this entire run in the bag.
Because I already do a fair amount of extra damage a la, you know, hello, a la, you know, flies and shit. So as long as I can manage to get my health pool back up to a reasonable level, honestly, if I could get uh, the nail, actually, right now the nail would be amazing. And grab this. Uh, so we got a battery we can buy if we need to. And apart from that, nothing good. No big deal. Doesn't Guppy give something about, like, better pills? I don't know. F flies for days. Let's get out of here. And, so oh, oh, wow, jeez, they just kind of wrecked Dingles. So, as, lo as long as I, like, don't get myself into compromising situations, and honestly, if I can get myself Dark Thumb, we are in the just most golden of golden places. Okay. Ooh. I I'm feeling good about everything here. Let's see what's in the boss rush room. Nah. Or not boss rush room, the uh, boss trap room. The thing is, like, even though we managed to get Guppy, Guppy on the second floor, uh, we are... Oh, what's this one? Is this the one that gives me piercing shots? I think it is. It's Sagittarius, right? Sagittarius is... Yeah, Sagittarius. Uh, speed up. Do, 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 do. Nope. Okay, we don't want this one. It's not really useful for us. Is that mom's contact? I think it is. Because it's... It's like a pinkish eye. Yeah, mom's contacts. Oh. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we do want this. This is a, a freeze effect to our attacks. And this is doubly... Oh, hey, we have double world. Might as well use it. Um, this is doubly useful for a couple of reasons. One, um, it's determined by our luck stat, which I believe is already up. Two, uh, since all of our tiers are strike through, it actually... Yeah, no, our luck stat isn't up. But since since our uh, attacks are strike through, that's wonderfully useful. Now I'm actually going to have to go back to the shop shortly because there's the boomerang, and I kind of want to re-roll it. What do we get? 48 on our energy. Yep, definitely want to go re-roll it. And let's pick up the world before I forget. We've got a mini boss we can get to, and stuff. We're definitely not getting the boss rush room, but that doesn't surprise me much. We are kind of on the weak side of things. All right, I think the boomerang was half half price, which is Good. Nope, never mind. Well, any of these rocks tinted? Nope. Though, we're, we're very flimsy. But if we can manage to make this work, then we're golden. Don't know. Never know. But we have a reroll. And I was actually really hoping... Oh man, it would have been great to bring 40 hour, 48 hour energy into the... Uh, oh wow, that worked. That worked wonderfully. Uh, bring that into the boss room, but of course a little bit late for that one. Where are you? Explosive diarrhea! Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Because uh, if I could have bought, brought that into the, um, into like a deal with the devil room, oh man, just think of all the things, the options we would have. Speaking of, there's options. Like it. Alright, hide the map. Or not so much hide the map as just get it out of my face for a second. And yeah, we do a lot of extra damage a la flies. Ooh, oh, oh, come on. Oh, God, those choices, they're so amazing. I'm going to hold off on them. Let's see what we got in the eight. Wow. Deal with the angel room. You're just kind of shitting items on us, or not items on us, red hearts. Okay, so, pentagram would be amazing because it would boost up our flies, but we need... <sighs> Because, wait, does the pentagram give me a spirit heart? That's the question. Because if it does, then it's less of an issue. But if it doesn't... Because one damage up versus Squeezy's... What is Squeezy's attack speed? Because the problem is two spirit hearts would go a very long way with what we're currently doing right now. Come on, where is Squeezy? There it is. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, damage. All right, let's let's fuck some people's days up. Yeah, because I don't need to go to sh shop. I don't need to go for anything. So yeah, let's just keep going. We got the we got the world card. Uh, just we really need spirit hearts, and if we can't get any, we're going to be in some seriously deep trouble. I'm gonna check out the battle room, even though it, chances are it doesn't have anything useful. It's just sometimes it has I don't know really nice things. Please leave me alone. Okay, yeah, damage damage is pretty useful. All right, uh, and coins. Uh, if if I can if I can get me to the shop, we're golden. Wow. Yeah, we do need something like synth oil though. 
Oh, hey, there's a spider nest in the corner. I couldn't even see it. All right. So we know where the item room is. Uh, let's go t take out that... Oh, shoot, I'm not going to be able to take out the red fire. I mean, I might. It might happen, but sweet Jesus. We spawn a lot of flies. What's this one? Is this one Aries? I think... No, it's not. It is... Oh, it is Aries. Speed up. Ah. This one's not great either. Is that the guillotine? Guillotine just cuts my head off, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh. Huh. I'm gonna think on that one. I... Ugh. Like, tonight's been such a good night. And I'd hate to screw it up by taking an item that I don't understand properly. I... I... Mm, I really don't know, because... The thing is, the guillotine actually gives us a damage up. And a tears up. Like, it's a really good damage boost. Trying to figure out where mom's hand is. Please don't... Okay, good. There's only one. Yeah, because the guillotine makes Isaac's head come up and orbit his body, and I have no idea which one uh, calculates damage, which is, in and of itself, terrifying. Also, I'm slow as shit here. Oh! Okay, leave me alone. Masks of infamy. Oh, hey. One of them just randomly died. I'm just going to kind of float over these rocks until that mask decides to go elsewhere. Thank you very much. And apparently, I froze him to death. Confusing. Oh, and we're fighting greed. Well, we're freezing greed. More like. Jeez. Uh, and we've got another floor, right? Yeah, we've got one more floor. So that means unless we somehow get really unlucky and have to fight super greed, we can do some fun stuff, fun stuff on the shop. All right. I... <sighs> First and foremost, I'm going to... Ah. I'm going to save this seed, because it's it's a very good seed. B L E B C P H M 3 Perfect. Okay. So, here's the question. Is it worth it? I honestly don't know. Fuck it. Okay, so it made it made my uh, hitbox bigger, but not by much. And with luck, we'll well actually we can already fly. So I don't know. Like I I've got concerns about it. Uh, it's definitely throwing off my aim. Like considering my tears are massive, and do like stupid damage, I feel good about it. And yeah, since we since we can fly, this isn't as destructive as it could be. Okay, I'm gonna. Bomb these blue fires out. No idea if it's going to give us anything worthwhile. Also, I have to watch out for my head. Potentially, there we go, spirit heart. Uh, my head potentially just running itself straight into fire. Because that is a concern. But since I'm... me, Ow. Speed down. Screw that. Ooh. Alright. It is my body, right? Can I use my head? I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> this is just such a weird system. Well. Okay, so we get the Empress, which is way better than speed down. And we're gonna go through here. Oh, fight the adversary. Dude, holy shit, tons of damage to him. Ow. Take more damage than I'd be willing I'm willing to take, but whatever. Screw his day up, screw his day up. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, there he is. He's dead. Beautiful. Okay, so we get breakfast or the screw. What does the screw do? The screw gives tears up, shot speed up, which would be nice. Breakfast would be nice. But I'm actually going to delay this decision again until I can go in here. The shovel, which is worthless. Uh, or the nail, which. Alright. Uh, goodbye, D6. Hello, spirit hearts. And. I'm gonna gamble a little bit and go with the screw. Because we need shot speed. Yeah, that, that's a reasonable boost. This is the bean, right? Reasonable knockback. Which is worthless. Uh, are there any batteries around? No. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna go back, for better or worse, and. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back 
and see if I can get a battery. It's unlikely, but if I can get a battery somewhere down here, then we're like super golden. Because obviously we don't need... Uh, nope, no battery. We obviously do not need... Um... Okay, the fly there is dead somehow. I, I don't even know what the exact process is there. But... Uh, yeah, we don't need the beam. We have no use for the beam. We, we've got the freaking nail. And... Oh yeah, this was worth it. This is absolutely worth it. Eternal Heart, right off right off the bat, essentially. Alright, here's the last question. Uh, battle room. Eh, screw it. I'm pretty beefy. Bad trip. Shit, that hurt. Well... Uh-oh. Uh oh boy. Just a mom's head? Nope, multiple. There's another one. There's another one. Thank you very much. Anything else? Just these guys. For better or worse, but luckily we can freeze them and we've got attack flies that will go after them so I don't have to worry about aim too much. Because one problem is, we got shit aim. Nope, no batteries. Damn. Because if I could re-roll the bean, we'd be in a beautiful position. Or, actually, I don't... Never mind, I don't have any more re-rolls. I guess the only reason why I even did this was purely get half a charge on the nail, which is arguably totally worth it. Oh, we just need to be very careful here, because we do not have much health. And if I if I take too much damage, then we're going to have serious problems. I always wonder what these big dark X's on the ground are. I'm just going to bomb there. Hope for the best. The answer is... It does nothing. I guess it's just... I don't know. Screwing with me. Either way, we've got effectively two and a half hearts, but we have so much damage that... Uh, I feel like we can make up for it. And as, as long as we don't take too much from things, we're going to be fine. If And if I if I can get my hands on a bunch of batteries, uh, hopefully the shop is actually going to put out uh, something useful instead of just, you know, screwing with me and giving me super greed, which very well could happen. Like, I'm not discounting that possibility, which would annoy me greatly. I'm also kind of hoping I can get my hands on... Tammy's head? Or is it Max's head? I don't I don't remember. No, Cricket's head. There we go. The names are different between games. Because if, if I can get Cricket's head, then we're in a beautiful position. Because that multiplies our damage by like 1.5 and does some other stuff too. Again, chances of it are low-ish. But high enough that it's a serious concern for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going for that. Screw that. Screw all of that business, because, yeah, right now, we're pretty much firing off instant instant kill shots. It's just careful, and... What? Oh, what? Oh, I got, I got hit by the neutral fly. Dang it. I thought I had finished it off. Well, oh, hello. The nail is off. So that means we got a couple of rooms I can use it on. Not this one, obviously. Sweet Jesus, that would be a terrible idea. Not this one. I guess I'll use it on this room because it's a big room and the damage boost is appreciated enough. But we also have spirit hearts. Damn. That was fun to watch. Oh, hello. Yep, this is absolutely the right room to use it on. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait, no, never mind. For a second, I was going to say the nail actually got rid of my body, but no, I was just not even paying attention. Yeah, this is a good room to use it on. Didn't get me anything nice disappointingly. But it was worth a shot. Yeah, that's not worth it for a boss trap room. So, we're doing okay. We've got Spirit Heart Generation, which is something that we were aching for. Alright, gotta watch out for his shots. But apart from that, everything here is weak as shit and no big deal for me. Please give me, like, balls of steel. Oh, telepills. Well, that was honestly not bad. Okay, and good. The head did not shoot me. That, that's always a concern, getting shot by heads. That doesn't even make much sense, but whatever. I, I, you guys you guys get my drift, but like shit, my flies are insane. I'm so glad I can fly, though. This would be much harder if I couldn't. Alright, what's this? Magician. Ooh, ooh, arcade. Ooh. Alright, so. I could gamble. I'm going to hold on to it, if I need to. Because... There's not much use for gambling right now. And I want to go into the item room. Of course, we can't re-roll anything anymore. Rainbow Baby. Eh, not bad. 
It's, I mean, it's just extra DPS. It's not great extra DPS, but it's extra DPS nonetheless. And, yeah, we're getting our spirit hearts up, so I'm, f I'm feeling good. Two of hearts. Yeah, useful. We still have the magician. I'm hoping that I find the, oh wait, no, I just found the shop. What else do we got over here? Come on, body, pick it up. There we go. Ooh, the devil. Okay. And what do we got in here? The jar. But, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to use the battery now and save the nail just for a second. The jar is kind of worthless. So let's go in here, pop the nail. Yep. Probably could have actually saved the nail. Oh, well, not the end of the world. So we got pill, puberty. Not bad. Pill, bombs are key. Eh, not bad. And we're still carrying around the devil. So we've got the devil, we've got the magician. I think I'm going to carry around the devil, because... Where's my body? Where's my body? Vision. Ooh. Okay, so that nets me a pair of secret rooms. Still got the devil. Let's bomb our way in here. Hard to keep hard to keep track of my body. <laughs> I like oh hello. Yes. Also yes. Also yes, please. Alright, so very hard to keep track of my body when I'm running around like this. Okay, send it sentence finished. Uh there's no real reason to go into the arcade. Uh I'll just buy the red heart. I don't know, I'm a shameless person. Actually, come to think of it, I uh, that was a waste. But what we do want to do is go back for those couple of red, uh, not red chests, golden chests. Because if I can get, if I, if I can get my hands on Cricket's head, on top of all the crazy damage that we already do, like, what is, what is our damage stat at? It's like five-ish? That's, that's nuts. And puts us in a very good position. Of course, it all really does depend on what happens in, you know, the womb. And then, I don't know, from there. Well... I might as well go with the goat head, which I believe prevents uh, stomps from hitting me. Hard to remember. And, oh, well, at the very least we get a key. So we're getting nice things here. Not exactly the best, but definitely nice things. And we do have some red hearts. So assuming we get a deal with the devil, we're going to be able to cash out and it'll be nice. So, let's go check out what that last secret room does before I forget about it. And go beat the shit out of all. Oh, wait, what is this thing? Oh, it's just a rock overlaid on top of another rock. I thought it was something exciting. Turns out I'm wrong. Hello, you're worthless. Uh, could be worse. All right. What's up, Mom? How you doing? How much damage can I do to you? Almost all of your, well, like half of your health in the first go. That's pretty nuts. I didn't take any damage. We get the Polaroid, we get to deal with the devil. Well, let's grab the Polaroid because it would be dumb otherwise. And we don't need Guppy's hairball, but I'm absolutely going for the mark. Because the mark, it's one heart for a spirit heart and damage. Bam. Uh, of course, it's not as full of damage as I expected, but whatever. For a second, th I thought we were being dragged into the blood sphincter and I got confused. But that's not the case. And I actually did so much damage to her that I didn't, I actually completely forgot to use, um, I completely forgot to use the devil card. Oh well, I honestly can't complain about that. And where's where's my body half the time here? What do I what do I feel like? What what's a character that famously loses his head and has has to go after it and find it? I I guess if we're going to talk about like pop media, sort of. I don't know. Herbert. Uh, what? All right. Uh, I thought that Hermit brings you to the secret room. What does it bring you to the item room? I honestly don't remember. This isn't worth it. Oh, that was absolutely not worth it. Why did I do that? Yeah, I want I want the pill, but since I've got such a high hitbox, it is absolutely impossible to get to. So, uh, note to self, both my head and my body actually have hitboxes. Oh, hey, I, <laughs> I batted the bomb away with my uh, massive noggin. Okay, so we've got a battle room, unless there's something amazing in there. Ugh. I'm going to wait until I have the nail. And then we're going to do it, because all all uh, trap rooms in the womb are boss trap rooms, which would be not impossible, but the extra damage from the nail is very much appreciated, and the extra health. I don't know, whatever. So the thing is, lard isn't great, but I believe it's speed down, but two health up. 
which is kind of perfect for us. So, let's grab the bucket of lard. Yep, okay. Jesus Christ. This is insane, and I love it. All right, you die. <laughs> I would love to get a higher luck stat, but I think at this point, I really shouldn't have gone for there's options. I think that it only ended up actually giving me one extra thing. I really should have bought PhD. Oh, well, a little bit late for uh, stuff like that. Yeah, we just completely wasted everyone. I feel like I've accomplished something. I wish my head would also pick up items. It doesn't. Makes me sad. Either way, though, uh, we are one overpowered freak of nature, and I love it. Because every everything dies by my hand. Okay, that sucked. Uh. The problem is we can't get Guppy's Paw anymore, because I've already gotten Guppy's Paw. Well, at the very least, I can pick up these red hearts. Even though that does preclude us from using Polar the Polaroid. Come on, all of them die. Beautiful. Now, we're going to need some keys here, so if I do actually see another arcade, we're going to hit it, because if I don't get any keys, we ain't getting our... What the... Okay, don't even understand. Um, If I don't have enough keys and we go into the chest, well, it's going to be kind of a sad day for us, but... That does give us the entire chest to make a dis not make a decision to get enough keys to open up the chest before we fight the blue baby. Because at this point, I'm pretty much assuming we're going to be oh conquest. Well, okay. Oh, hell. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was pretty great. Okay, so we're going to go with caffeine pill. Speed up, size down, perfect. We also get to go in here, which nets us a bunch of shit we don't want. God damn it, Devil Room. Oh well, it's not like we really need much. We we can fly. Like I was begging to be able to fly since very early in this level. And hello. Okay, so we could go with speed down. Bombs are bombs are key, and another telepill. So I'm gonna go with bombs are key. That gives us eight keys. I know bombs are nice, but at this point, we don't need them. And let's just keep farming nail charges, because at this point, I'm I'm sitting on a lot of health, but I'm going to be a little bit greedy here. Chances are we're not going to run into anything that particularly threatens us. So I might as well just see what I can get, especially because if I can get Cricket's head, we're absolutely golden. And I don't know. Greed is good, right? Shit, that's a lot of enemies that I don't like to be around. All right, they're all dead. Beautiful. And we get more bombs, more keys. The problem is my body is so tiny. I, I just don't even know where it is half the time. Uh, well, uh, I can't complain too much. I, this is what I get for being absolutely overpowered. Hey, it's Super Wrath. I wonder if he's gonna die before he shoots off a bomb. The answer is yes. Works for me, and we get Goat Hoof. But at this point, actually, the speed up is not unwelcome. Because you know what? It's dodging potential and just getting through the level faster potential. Which I appreciate. I've got four bombs. I'm actually going to put one over here. See if I can blow up everything. The answer is, well, no spirit hearts, but I didn't really need them anyway. And we get the devil. Onwards! Okay. So, mom's heart's going down. I, I might take some damage. Hey, here we go. We got an arcade. And I'm just going to gamble all my money away because we have no use for it otherwise. Got to make sure he's not going to spawn flies on us, because that would be unfortunate, because I, I don't know where my body is. So, pretty hard to dodge when your hitbox is like twice its usual side. Side. Twice its usual size, and constantly moving. Huh. I could actually, uh, potentially, yeah, I could absolutely go for uh, getting a blood bag here. It might be a little unnecessary, but I've got the red hearts for it. And it's not a bad idea. If, if oh man, if I if I had uh, freaking what's it called? But oh well, guess we get Scatole. <laughs> and speed down. Thanks, thanks, Hanks. Well, either way, I've got what a bunch of extra red hearts. So I'm just gonna pop this twice. Where's my body? So I don't make any stupid decisions. It's not great, but not terrible. Because I might as well do it just for the small chance of getting it. We're going to... Uh, seeing as we can't go down to half a red heart this way, I'm just going to go down as much as I can. Actually, oh, I absolutely could. I just got to be careful about it, because I pick up one of these. Uh, I can do it a little bit more than this. Yeah, because now, 
now we get the Polaroid. Come on, pop it a couple of times here. Just as long as that bubble is going. Alright, can't use it anymore, but now we get permanent, or not, well, yes, we get permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is useful. Yes, the red hearts would be nice, but I'm planning on giving them away in deals with the devil that I will never have. So, I don't know. At, at this point, I'm just going to call it uh, close enough. Let's go see what we've got in the boss trap room. Nothing useful. I'll pop it if I need to. Thank you, flies. It saves me a lot of time and effort. Probably should have used the nail here, but then again, what are we sitting at? Uh, it's six spirit hearts, and potential for taking damage is pretty low. So, I don't know. Feels feels okay. Let's just keep our distance. Because these guys are jerks. Oh man, if I had Monstro's Lung on top of all of this, it'd be nuts. But I'm really just holding out for Cricket's Head. Because that would be, uh, that would be beautiful. And, I don't know, appropriate considering how many freaking golden chests I've opened up here. You get over here. <laughs> yeah, not even the Girdlings can withstand my might. Honestly, I'm not even the threat here. Oh, well, screw that one up a little bit. I guess I'll mess around with the permanent Polaroid invincibility thing later. Or just give up the ghost, because it doesn't really matter. Eh. I'll at least figure it out. Oh, well, damn it. I really hate it when I make enemies pop up beneath my feet. None of those... Any of these tinted? This one's tinted. Any other one's tinted. Well, it's a golden chest. Uh, explosive thoughts? No. That is way too risky. I think it's called explosive thoughts. Oh, wait. This is really easy. Aha! Suck it! Alright. So, we did... Oh, man. I need to remember to use the nail. I'll just use it now. It doesn't really matter. We don't need the damage boost. Um... Hmm. I don't know. The, the enemy that pops up beneath my feet. Never never like them. Alright, y'all leave me alone. I got better things to do than do with your, your nonsense. Okay. We've got the nail. If I can actually go and get it charged up fully, then we're going to be in a great position. And if I can't, well, it's no big deal. Watch my head just pop open both of those rocks, costing me a bunch of keys, not letting me get any of the items in the chest, and then making me a very sad wanderbot. Turns out, that's not the case. And I could totally go gambling some more, if I had uh, gambling machines that were still operational. And, oh, this is concerning. I never really like these masks of infamy. I never really know how to deal with them, though I am actually really surprised I have yet to run into a mask of infamy boss outside of the boss trap room. I don't think it's ever happened. Either way, the secret room's pretty much gotta be right there. Right? Yeah. Alright, what's it got for me? Super greed. Dead greed. Eh. Uh, no tinted rocks, though. Shucks. Well, either way, let's grab the... No! What? What? Wait a second. Could I get two of these? That is explosive brain, right? Or explosive thoughts. Oh, Bob's brain. I can totally get two of those if I really want to. That is a horrible idea. Man, I actually kind of wish I had the D6 right now. Alright, well, let's... Let's get all the way back down to Polaroid Invincibility. Because I might as well. And, you know, small chance we'll get a... Small chance we'll get a blood bag from this. Unlikely, but small. Alright. So, not the case. And, uh, we don't have enough charges on the nail. Unless I went off... No, not even. Oh, uh, could be worse. Why did I do that? We do have the uh, Devil card, which technically I probably should have saved, but uh, I don't know. Can't, it can't be asked to care too hard right now. I'm all sorts of ridiculous, and she's going to start shooting shit, aren't you? Nope. She never even got the... God damn it. I honestly couldn't see where anything was, so I just got uh, shucked through the door. Alright. Now, here's the question. I can come back to these. Damn it! <laughs> I'm just the most accident-prone person. I'm actually going to do the boss trap room, just because chances are most of the enemies are going to be completely weak, and I can wreck them. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's very unlikely we're going to end up fighting anything particularly dangerous in here either, because it's usually just tier 1 bosses that show up, right? Right. And it gets me another cha uh, charge on the nail, which is what we're looking for. Uh, probably should have saved that for the next floor, but uh, it's a little bit too late for that kind of business. Okay. Uh, where are we? We're up here. Okay. 
blood bag, come on, come on, oh man, well, I'm wealthy, and I totally could have cheesed it there, but, uh, well, I was not paying attention, either way, uh, yeah, let's, let's just continue on, and go beat up Isaac, we're, we're sitting on a treasure trove of spirit hearts, and that makes me feel pretty good about things, and I don't have to worry about opening up those, because I already did, like a dumbass, well, let's, let's, let's head for the cathedral, and then the chest, and, I don't know, see what happens, battle room, not much. Let's do it anyway. I'm a shameless person, because considering the main goal here, farm as... No, oh, I already got a red heart, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Well, that was short-lived. Either way, I do so much damage that, like, these guys just can't hurt me. Huh. So, he wasn't frozen, he was slowed. We Oh, from uh, Rainbow Baby. I was wondering about that. It's like, how, did, how, how am I doing slowing tears? How does that even work? Alright, so we got one tinted rock. I'm gonna pop that one open. Yes, please. And then I'm gonna gamble for a bit. And cross my fingers that I get some bombs here. At least I at least I get a key. Oh, well, there goes that machine. Never mind, I guess. But at the same time, I think we're just shy. No, actually we're maxed out on spirit hearts. Or, no, we're, ju we're just shy of maxed out. But that's still pretty freaking good. There's the left hand, but we don't need it, because the left hand is great if you're trying to get Guppy. Holy, what the? Never seen that before. Okay, now we're maxed out on Spirit Hearts. I have never seen Ultra Tiny... Uh, I've never seen Ultra Tiny, uh, whatever those guys are called. Eh. Oh, what? Okay, that's confusing. Well, Bob's Rotten Head, don't want it. And now I'm flagrantly wealthy. If only I had uh, money as power, that'd be amazing. Don't, though. Kind of makes me sad. Either way, uh, we're in a great position. Let's just not take any damage from ghosts. Feel good about ourselves. Keep opening these up with the uh, sheer hope that we we get our hands on some kind of Cricket's Head. We're getting a lot of other good stuff, so it's, it's definitely pushing the case of open up golden chests more often, but uh, has yet to push forward the message that you'll get Cricket's head from all of them, or at least on a run. For a second I thought I just got my hands on uh, Guppy's head and I got very confused. Either way, this is kind of the most useless place to get the, or have to use the nail. Actually, I don't think I even wanted to use the nail there. I'm a little bit late for uh, second guessing. Let's just take him out with our, oh god. I'm gonna... I, oh, okay. That's interesting. Didn't take any damage there. Or, more per se, it didn't charge me. Eh, can't complain. We do need... Uh, we do need to save our charge for the nail, though. Because at this point... Or, not save it, but we do need another charge on the nail. Uh, speed down. Like, th this is where things kind of can go bad. Especially with Curse of the Unknown on the freaking Cathedral. Like, that's just not fair. And we don't really have a good way of combating it either, apart from just not taking damage, which of course is easier said than done, but, like, I don't want to waste the nail when I don't know if I'm maxed out on spirit hearts or not. In this case, though, I am absolutely... Is this Mr. Mega? Uh, okay. Well, because, yeah, we want the nail for the boss room, but at the same time, we want to get as many spirit hearts, or have as many spirit hearts as possible. Oh, hey. Well, that solves that problem. I believe I can only pick up one of these. Perfect. So that means if I get hit again, I can come back. And we get a really late game judgment, which is perfect. Oh. Well. Let's go see if I can farm charges on the nail. Because we got dog food, which will... But it essentially give us one extra health. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Well, either way, we get... Holy crap, that's a lot of gold. Too bad. It's worthless to us. Uh, why did I do that? I'm just on autopilot. I assume if there's no enemy in the room, that I just can't take damage. Alright, well, whatever. Not going to impact us too greatly here. There are no other, no other rooms. So, yeah, we've wasted our nail charge, but we got this here, and dog food if we ever need it, but uh, we'll probably need it after the Isaac fight, considering. And I believe the Isaac fight is best fought 
kind of moving back and forth here. Unfortunately, I've got such a massive hitbox that it is actually going to set me back a little bit here. Either way, uh, mm. Okay, thank you very much. Where is he? There he is. Just, just die already, you, you sass. Yep. Whew. My massive hitbox is not screwing me over just yet. Come on. You die. Think, think. Uh. Oh, apparently I don't take damage there. I don't think I took damage that entire fight. Uh, I'm gonna pick up uh, lunch anyway, just because. It's a little bit more reliable than spirit hearts, and we're not worrying about deals with the devil or anything like that. So, let's continue on to the chest. I've got more than enough keys for this. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have a lot of health. Okay, so we get Revenge Fly, Rotten Baby, Infant. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. They're all good. It's not like we can reroll anything anyway. Because Rotten Baby gives us more flies. Uh. The other one makes our shots split when they, whenever they hit. Uh, Smart Fly, it's not great, but the thing is, since we got both the Revenge Fly and, uh, you know, Eve's Bird thing, we're pretty much going to be able to get hit once by the Blue Baby and just let them freak out and go after him. Okay. And, like, honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about this stuff. Speed up, jeez, I am... Spoonbender. Homing Shots, oh man. I actually move so fast that my head doesn't animate well. Holy crap. Watch out for the blast assist. Alright, well, either way, this is why this is why I ended up getting the nail, because I knew I was going to take some amount of damage, and homing shots, thank you very much. Because, uh, especially with all of the, like, weird, uh, weird just angling on my head not being attached to my body, it's a lot easier when the shots actually home in on their target. Yeah. At this point, I can't actually think of any uh, shot modifications. Holy shit. That is just insane. Things should not be close to me. I am a menace to everyone. Okay, this is a great room for the nail. So I do not like this guy. The dark one can kind of suck it. And die. Beautiful. We get another golden chest. Uh, yes? Uh, yes. Alright. Uh, did not expect to get chocolate milk this late late in the game, but I honestly can't complain. Because the thing is, we can just fire, like, one uber mega death tier and just wreck the shit out of things. It's pretty, it's pretty for perfect. I can also just mash the buttons really fast for a bunch of really quick basic tiers. Yes, they do less damage, but boy, do they still do quite a fair amount. Oh man, this is good. This has gotten good. This has gotten real good. Cause the th oh, well, uh, I took some damage there. Either way, though, he did not live. Um, still no cricket's head. Surprising. But the reason why I want to do it this way is this gives me a shit ton of uh, this gives me a shit ton of blue flies. <laughs> what the f? Oh man, golden chests. Oh, apparently, on the chest level, golden chests actually give you all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, I'm not going for that, though. That's worthless. Where's my body? Uh... Well, this sucks. Uh, god. This kind of bites. Alright, well, this is not the right direction anyway. But, at this point, I'm just going to be essentially just firing all my shots manually, but, like, look at everything that happens when I do. It's kind of beautiful. Alright, don't... Okay, my head does not actually... Uh, have a hitbox for me. My body is the only way I can take damage. Good to know. Also, screw you, peep. Come on, flies. Come on, murder his face in. Thank you very much. Before he blood lasers me. And... Okay, I'm gonna use this. Temperance. That's not worth it. Like, we, we can use the nail if we need it. D don't I already have a Mr. Mega? I do. I wonder what that's gonna do. Well, either way, fun things, I guess. Might as well use the nail on this one. These guys have a lot of health, and I don't feel like doing a prolonged fight with uh, obnoxious enemies. Uh, yeah, it was worth it. D10. Huh. Still not as good as the nail. And at this point, I'm actually going to have to save the nail charges. Hopefully, I don't take too much damage here, but if I can save the nail charges, then um, we'll have the nail for Blue Baby. Not like we really need it, but it's preferable anyway. Oh, hey, Book of Revelations. That solves our, uh, you know, one down spirit heart issue. All right. How we doing? Uh, you know, Mega Sloth or whatever his name is. Poison Bombs! Bo or Bob's Curse. 
Either way, we've got uh, we've got to get three more rooms before I can get. Uh, I don't. Damn it! I don't actually think we're going to have the nail charged for this fight. That's unfortunate. Yep, we're not. That sucks. Oh, interesting. Because of homing shots and infestation. Huh. Weird. I don't actually remember what Undefined does. Brings me here. Oh, hey, Cricket's body. Splash damage and tears up. Yes? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, freaking please. Alright, so... Where's the... Where's the nail? I don't even need the nail. Ah, let's go with the quarter. And this. Ugh. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to use the nail here. I guess this is the one very kind of stupidly rare circumstance where, um... The Yum Heart is actually the item we bring with us into battle. I honestly can't believe I'm saying this. I could also just do the D10. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the D10 in. It's gonna be more fun. Because yeah, the Book of Revelations is worthless to us, but, I mean, we're so hale and hearty, who gives a shit? Let's just blow the crap out of you, see what happens. How big are my explosions? Pretty massive. Yay, a coin and half a heart. Let's screw them up! Blue baby, eat my shots! Uh, good, good god. Uh, this was a great run. Bam! Huh. Is the music different? I don't think so. I should probably actually go back to beating Sheil at some point, just so I can get the negative, so I can go to the dark place or whatever it's called. Because I think that's the one place I haven't been to yet. I think. Maybe I should also stop playing with Isaac, considering I've already beaten this with Isaac. Never! I've completely neglected, you know, Maggie and all the other characters, but eh, who gives a damn? So, uh, that was that was an absolutely amazing run, and I'm really happy about it. 